Today we are going to be working with beautiful Hallie. She is a Pomeranian long hair chihuahua. And as you can see, she has a lot of coat. So I'm going to show you all how we are going to maintain this coat, keep her in good shape without shaving her. That would be the last thing we would want to do. If we keep our routine going with her, Hallie comes in about every eight weeks, then shedding is never a, an issue. It's always under control. Obviously we're going to do a little trimming up on her fringes and make her look beautiful. She's a little bit straggly right now, but she shines up like a beautiful penny, trust me. So let's get started with Hallie. So the first thing we wanna do with Hallie, I want to brush through her before I bathe her. The pre-brush and the bath is very important for de-shedding a dog. Never just go straight to the tub. We always wanna to try to remove some dead coat, it's especially for a shedding breed. It's, it's gonna be in there. Okay, it may not look like she has a lot of sh a coat that's ready to come out, but as you can see, it is ready to come out. So we just gently will loosen up all the dead coat and also we're stimulating the skin for the bath so that we make sure she gets the best, most effective bath that we could offer Hallie today. She is just an absolute gorgeous dog, isn't she? She's got this like merle coat love it we brush everything guys this will definitely ensure that the bath is most effective for your double coated breed especially these little pants this is where you'll find there's quite a bit of thickness and buildup of of undercoat so we just remove it before the bath and the same thing right here around Hallie's neck you'll find that's always an area that's that's pretty thick so we don't want to overlook any of these areas when we're doing our pre-brush before the bath. Wait till you see how beautiful Hallie is when she's all finished. She's just so gorgeous. And a lot of you may have a double coated breed at home similar to Hallie. So please take advantage of the steps that we are going to use with Hallie today for your golden retriever, for your Bernice mountain dog, for your St. Bernard, for your mixed breed that may have a double coat, a Pomeranian. This is exactly how I would groom a Pomeranian, the way we're going to groom Hallie today. We're going to be trimming up her little paw pads. You can see she has a lot of coat in there and we're going to safely remove that. We're going to trim her nails. We're going to trim these furnishings and make her look nice and tidy. We're going to tidy up around her hiney with some scissor work and that's all we're going to need. We're going to need a brush, a comb, a good bath, and a pair of straight shears. I will be using thinning shears as well, but you wouldn't have to. I am going to be using my Prima bathing system to wash Hallie. As you can see, I I don't need to pre-wet Hallie with this system. You may not have a bathing system and that's fine. You can hand wash her. I often will use loofahs to wash dogs. I'll link a video in the description above of how beneficial this is to washing your pets at home or if you're a professional. So I wanna really make sure that I'm getting into her skin and because Hallie does have a double coat and she has a thick coat, be certain that we are getting to the skin and with the Prima bathing system that uses a high pressure, low volume, meaning low volume of water, it saves us a lot of shampoo time and it's very green for the environment because we are saving water. Water consumption is very much a priority with Prima bathing system as well as just producing an amazingly clean dog. We need to let this shampoo, water, and air mixture sit on Hallie for about four minutes. It just produces like a soft, silky foam. Oh, it's nice, it's really nice. And you can use any shampoo of your choice with the Prima bathing system. That's another big perk. Getting those paw pads. I'm gonna clean everything up. So after I wash Hallie, we're gonna be conditioning her and stay tuned because I'm showing you a big secret to how you de-shed your dog. It's in the tub. That's how we're gonna do it. Good Hallie. Good girl. Yes. Now this step is really the secret. Hallie's rinsed, 
She's shampooed, she's rinsed, she's, she's squeaky clean. <laughs> Good job. I'm going to be using, you can use the conditioner of your choice. Today we're using the Tropiclean Spa Pet Nourish. It's just a bit moisturizing, and right now she could use a little moisture in her coat. So you can use whatever shampoo you want. This is dilutable, it dilutes 10 to one. I have pre-mixed that in a mixing bottle, 10 to one for Hallie's condition. Now, we're gonna apply the condition, but that's not all we're gonna do right now. So I just wanna gently work it into her coat. And it's nice to use the mixing bottles because you can, you can be sparing in some areas and you can also really load it up with conditioner too if you want by applying a little more. So you have good control over how you're applying the product. Good girl. I know you gotta make these little ears soft too. So you want to get this all over Hallie and massage it through with your fingers like this. It's okay. And obviously I like to leave my conditioners on the pets about four minutes too, but that works out great because what we're getting ready to do in the next step will let us let the conditioner sit on a little bit too while we're performing that step. So now she's all conditioned up. She feels really soft. You can feel that conditioner working. The conditioner is definitely moisturizing the skin, but it's also gonna act as a de-shedding aid right now for Hallie. So I have a bath comb that I use. I will link it in the description below. You can use any pet grooming comb. You'll notice that it has a fine side and a coarse side. I'm gonna start with the coarse side, the larger teeth. And we're going to start gently combing this conditioner through Hallie's coat. But as we're doing that, Gently, 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 we are removing undercoat and dead coat effectively, as well as we're dispersing the conditioner evenly through Hallie's coat. Hallie, it's okay. You know you love to be beautiful. You know you love to be beautiful. So this is the way to de-shed your dog in the tub, guys. This is the secret. And this is why it was very important that we also pre-brushed Hallie to make sure we can get a comb through her because we certainly don't want to be yanking through this. If she wasn't brushed out, this would be uncomfortable for Hallie. But this is the secret. And we're combing with the lay of the coat, the way the coat lays. That's what we're doing. And we are going to comb all the way through Hallie. Good job, Hallie. Good job, Hallie. You're such a beautiful girl. Now we're going to thoroughly rinse Hallie of all the product. Very important to thoroughly rinse. Wait till you see the results of this. Look how her coat already looks like silk. I mean, this is just amazing, guys. You definitely want to make sure you rinse the head really good, too. But I just take little breaks back and forth from the head to the body, starting on the top of the dog and rinsing everything down. If you don't have a good bathing setup at home with a good sprayer, just look for pet wash stations in your area. They totally set you and your pet up for successful bathing. And they also have force dryers, so you would leave all the mess there. None of this would be at your, in your home. Put those little ears down so we don't get water in them. Good girl. The next step is to thoroughly towel dry your dog. And I like to use the absorber towels because they are amazing. They pull so much water out of your pet's skin and coat. And it really cuts down on the drying process for you and for your pet, especially. Yes, and they're so soft. They're so soft. Oh my goodness, they're so soft. 
Yes. I have a link in the description below, guys, if you're interested in picking one up. I have a discount code. If you are a first time purchaser of the absorber towel using the link below, you will receive 10% off of your order. And that code is go to groomer. So take advantage of it if you're interested in picking up some absorber towels. Look at this. <laughs> this is what it pulls out. I'm not even done telling her off. We still got more to do, but it's amazing. And then you just continue to dry your pet. Bring it out, continue on. I also did a good demo on the absorber towel. And it shows you exactly how to use it, how to store it, how to clean it. So I'll link that in the card above for you too, guys, if you're interested in learning more. Yes! Now that Hallie's out of the tub, I'm going to go through and brush her again first with a slicker brush. This can be your finishing slicker brush. It can be a slicker brush that you dedicate to only using with your dog when they're wet. But this is a key, definitely, to de-shedding your dog safely and effectively, guys. You want to start at the head and work yourself all the way down the dog very important and you're going to continue to get dead coat out of your dog but this is the easiest safest way when the when the coat's clean conditioned moisturized and wet it has a lot of elasticity in it so it's a lot easier to de-shed your dog when they're clean conditioned and wet than it is when they're dry and dirty but it's very important to pre-brush like we did in the beginning because that way we could do our conditioning de-shedding work with a comb safely in the tub after we've come through hallie completely with a slicker brush we're going to go through her one more time before we dry her with the comb and look how we can just glide right through hallie's coat I always trim the nails when the dog is fresh out of the bath as well. I like to do this now because the nails are moisturized from the tub, so they're a lot less likely to be brittle and break when I'm trimming them. Good job, Hallie. It's okay, honey. Yeah. Now I am using a high velocity force dryer right now with Hallie. I know you may not have one. You can purchase them. I will link one in the description of this video. They are very helpful, especially for a double coated breed because they will help to blow out that undercoat. Amazing, amazing what they will do for a double coat. If you don't have a dryer, then go ahead and skip this step, but pick right up where we leave off for the next step when your dog is completely dry. Now I'm gonna shave in the pads of the feet here. We shave, I'm using a 30 blade. I only use a 30 blade in the pads of the feet. So I'm going to clean up everything around the edge, everything that she would stand on. And then we're going to come at this big pad in a V shape, like this. Because there's a tendon right here and we don't want to come at it straight on. So in a V shape. And now she won't be slipping around on the floor because we just took her little slippers off. Thoroughly brush through the coat one more time and we're going to trim up all her furnishings. But we want to brush through the coat one more time. And we're still getting hair, guys. This is important. So, but I want you to take a good look at her skin and her coat. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> Hallie, you're beautiful. Wonderful. So you can take a straight shear. I'm going to use my thinner. And I'm just going to shape 
Shape that down a little bit. That's all. She's so happy to be beautiful. Look how happy she is. And a complete 360 around her foot. You could cut that pad. It sticks out further than these little pads. And then we're going to pick that little foot up. And we're going to brush everything up. And we're going to scissor off everything to the length of the hair on the top of her foot. See? We just took off to the length of what's on her little foot. She has a little rabbit foot. It's so cute. And that's a foot. It's that simple. Hallie's little hiney back here. We're just gonna tidy up. So you can use a 10 blade right here to open up this area and keep it cleaner. Hold the tail up. I'm using a straight shear. And I'm just gonna make this cleaner for Hallie for when she goes to the bathroom and for her family at home to not have to deal with that. We're just going to shape anything that doesn't look nice. You may find this safer to use a 10 blade around the anus. Um, you know, I'm very quite comfortable with my scissoring techniques. Um, if you're new to grooming, you might wanna use a 10 blade right around there just to take care of that safely. Only a 10 blade. No other blade is safe to use around the anus. And I'm just, I'm just scissoring with my thinning shear, if that makes sense. I'm gonna comb up and scissor off. See what happens when I comb up? I get all this weird looking stuff popping out. So, we gotta scissor that off. You be careful, the vulva's up in there. Be careful to always be aware where your dog's flesh is, you know, whether you're trimming around ears or private areas. Always be sure to be aware of where their flesh is. And I'm just gonna use my thinner here and keep her much cleaner around her bum. Get your bum. Yeah, good job, Hallie. Okay. Okay, I'm using the Kenchi Lightning Shears. They're like my go-to thinning shear. I just love them. Good girl. And we're, you're just shaping, guys. You're just. This is what we're just doing for our sanitary purposes because our dogs lay on our couches and sleep in our beds. You know, we wouldn't have to do this, but this is just to help keep her cleaner. That's all. Good job, baby. For the tail, I'm just going to run my thumb down it. I feel where her tailbone is. Her tailbone's right here. That's the end of her tail. I'm just going to shape this up a little bit so it looks tidy. That's all. Hold it straight out and see if there's anything else that needs to come off and Call that good. And Hallie's little undercarriage here. We're just gonna tidy that up. See, I'm just evening things up a little bit. That's all, I don't need to take much. Can pull this little foot out like she's taking a step and make sure this all follows up to the front of her chest. And that just kind of tidied things up a little bit for Hallie. I'm gonna tidy this up here, picking that back foot up like she's stepping. And we just tidied up her, her underline. See that? Looks beautiful. Here for this leg, we can thin this down if we want. Some people like it really full. It's just a matter of what your client likes. We like to tidy her up a little bit, just to keep her cleaner. Well, now we're gonna bring this chest in to that a little bit. I'm using a thinning shear. And just make it look a little more tidy. Hold her leg out like she's taking a step. And just tidy that up. Don't hold it up high, hold it up like she's taking a step. Because that shows what your dog's gonna look like when they move. And 
we just tidy this up a little bit. This is up to the client and you, how much you want to take off of this little leg here, like that. We're going to bring that right over into the chest. You want your dog looking straight, not down, so that you can see how it's going to sit when she's standing like in a normal position, you know? That's why I always pick the legs up because that shows me when she moves what it's going to look like. Good job, Hallie. For Hallie's little ears here, I like to just fold them in half, exactly in half, and I like to just scissor off into a line right there. Now, you want to be very aware of where those ears are. If you're not comfortable with this, it's okay to just leave it full. This is what I do in my grooming salon for the Pomeranians and long-haired Chihuahuas that I groom. So it just tidies up her ear. See that? Can you see the difference? Hallie, see the difference? So we'll do the same thing over here. Fold that ear directly in half, comb everything forward, and we're gonna scissor it. I'm using thinning shears. And I'm very aware of where her ear is because it's right between my two fingernails. I have it that close to her. I, so I know exactly where the ear leather is. Good job, Hallie. Hold the ear forward and let this hair pop out on top. See, I have the ear. So it's safely secured and anything that's popping out, I can scissor off gently. And that's our beautiful little girl. <laughs>